Good morning, it's Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and welcome back to my channel. Here we go into a day in the life of a music teacher. So today is going to be a super long, but probably really fun day. So I'm looking forward to it. Let me set you guys down. It's Wednesday, so full day of teaching, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, two, first kindergarten. And then I have my first after school ukulele club rehearsal, which I'm super excited for. Almost every single kid, I actually have to look, let me look. Every single student except for one is brand new to ukulele club. So I'm really excited about that because that means I can just completely reestablish like the tone of the group and what we do and our routines and all that stuff. So I'm really excited to see them and just get a really nice community feeling going. It is open to fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. And right now I have 13 signed up, although I told a couple kids yesterday that they could turn in permission slips this morning. So we'll see. I pretty, I pretty sure, wow, my grammar's not good right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'll have at least 15 for sure. So really excited for that. Then tonight is our first skating party. We have like four skating parties a year, or maybe it's three, but I feel like it's every quarter. Anyways, last year I only went to one. The year before I went to two of them. And it's sort of inconvenient. I mean, no, it, it's not sort of. It's really inconvenient because I don't live on this side of town and the skating party started at like seven. But there's really not enough time for me to go home and come back. Like, there's no real point in that because ukulele club doesn't get over till 3.30. Some kids won't get picked up on time. And then skating party starts at seven. So I live like 30 minutes away with traffic which there is at that time. So it just makes sense to stay over in this part of town. So what I'll probably do is go to Starbucks or Panera and get some work done and then maybe meet my mom for dinner if she gets off work early enough because she works over on this side of town too and then go to the skating party. And I probably won't want to go to the skating party this evening because I'll be tired and I'll want to go home, but I'm committing to vlogging today and I am saying on here that I'm going to the skating party because I flaked out on like three of them last year. I never tell the kids I'll go because I never want to like disappoint them and not show up. But yeah, I really want to go today. I always have fun when I go. So I'm going to try to hold myself to it. And I just think it's really important for your students to see you like outside of your classroom, outside of school. I think it's important to show up for things like that. Hopefully I can ignore my inhibitions to not want to go when I'm tired and stick it out and just go because tomorrow and Friday I don't really have anything after school other than like tomorrow I have choir after school but then I'm done like there's no evening commitments so I know that the next two evenings I'll have to myself so I really need to just suck it up and stay over here and go to the skating party so what I would like to do after school in between all my stuff and then the skating party is definitely get some work done for my coaching business and then um, send a bunch of mail out. I have a bunch of mail to send to some of my clients, some of the coaches I mentor, and I want to get that stuff into the mail for them. And there's a post office right over here. So that's like a big goal today. And then little goals, I need to set up my voicemail here at school because somehow I like locked myself out in the password I don't know so I need to reset that I need to organize my room a little bit because it's gotten a little out of control um, <laughs> over the past couple days last Friday was like a whirlwind and I haven't cleaned up since last Friday and I also need to get start working on my lesson plans for next week because I plan in batches of three weeks so like weeks one to three are planned and then week four to six is how I'll plan the next one and we're finally moving on to week four activities next week. So exciting stuff happening here, folks. Well, I made it through the end of the day. It is now 1.53, so I have about 15, less than, like more like 10 minutes till I have to be at my dismissal duty, which is I stay in the cafeteria and make sure all the kids who go to daycares get picked up by their daycare. But also today I have ukulele club. So this was just my plan bell and I was running around finding the kids that um, <clears throat> so I was just running around finding some of the kids and confirming how they're getting home and if their parents like remember that we have ukulele. I did, they signed a permission slip 
that said the start date on it and stuff and then i did send home another paper that said congratulations you're in it um it's free of cost the first rehearsals this week sign up for remind 101 blah 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 but yeah no one's really signed up for remind 101 except for one person and i just need to make sure that the kids who say they're getting picked up have someone who remembers that they're getting picked up because sometimes the kids will just be like oh yeah she signed the permission slip but the parent will have signed it like a month ago and i mean the it's the beginning of the school year so i give parents a lot of grace because i know there's especially when you have multiple kids there's a lot to keep track of so i like to confirm that we all know how we're getting home and all that stuff so i had to go run around and just figure some of that out but i am pretty excited for ukulele club i'm looking at my list right now and there's just so many really nice kids that have signed up and kids that'll work really hard so i think it could be really 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 good so we'll see how the first rehearsal goes but today i got some awesome clips while i was teaching today um i just like sometimes we'll just put the camera on and so i end up catching like the whole class of footage so then i edit out sections that's how i do this i don't like stop what i'm doing and go put my camera on and blah 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 it's just like rolling basically and then i edit it but in fifth grade we were learning about triplet they killed it it was so good and then in fourth grade we had a it's one of the games from quaver but you could totally do it without quaver basically i read a rhythm and then two teams have to compete to see who can write it down the quickest and they did so well with that you're still in the race and i keep your points because you can lose points for your behavior if you get too crazy out here or you can gain points next one T T T T ta ta T T T T ta ta yeah. That's also a great way to do individual assessment without making it um, too intense. It's still in a game format. There's always a winner, there's always a loser, and they get over that part of it pretty quickly because 50% of the class loses, <laughs> you know? Like, so it's not like anyone's like, ha ha. Yeah, it's pretty chill. It's just a fun game to them. And then in first grade, we, uh, first grade for some reason this whole week, and I see different classes every day, they have not been coming on their A game. Like they have been coming really disheveled, like just some kids are really being bad. Some kids are really being like emotional. There's just something going on. Someone said it's a full moon and it's a Paragon week or something. I don't even know, but apparently there's a bunch of stuff in the atmosphere that might be affecting <laughs> their behavior. But first grade this week has just been really interesting. They're the last class I see at the end of the day. And so first grade today, just there were some of them who are usually my best listeners, best kids that were just off the chain, like being so disrespectful and not following directions. It was just really out of character. So the last couple minutes of class, I was like, yeah, this lesson's over they were not listening to me at all and one of the kids randomly raised their hand was like can i sing a song i was like sure that's what we'll do the last five minutes of class because otherwise i think we're all going to run around the room and hurt each other <laughs> and so one kid sang a song and then this little girl was like can i sing frozen i'm like sure and just like okay she sounds so good i've heard her sing before but singing songs we do in class and that's totally different than like singing by yourself listen to this angelic voice what a beautiful angel voice so i was like choking up i'm like this is so beautiful it made the whole class a million times better the kids didn't seem to think it was as amazing as i did but i was very impressed i thought she stayed in key she did so good i was like wow really proud music teacher over here <sighs> but let me get my life together and I, my room got destroyed today my calming corner I'm not even gonna show you it's bad i just fixed the circle those were horribly messed up and everything else is okay because i've sort of been fixing it here and there but i'm going to get ready now for ukulele club because now i only have like four minutes <laughs> until it's time to go to dismissal duty and hopefully it's awesome and hopefully i check in with you after and i'm like that was amazing and i love it because that's i'm looking at this list of names and i'm feeling really good i'm feeling like we have a really good group here Ugh, i'm just excited so 
hopefully it goes really well well i am officially done with the day i've actually been done for like two hours now um and it was so good the ukulele kids were amazing they were so attentive we did waste like 25 minutes trying to figure out some of their transportation situations but once we got into content we flew through it so proud already so excited to get with them again next week and keep working i mean they were just so excited about everything and they were really nice to each other too not that my former club students have ever been mean to each other but they just like were so nice to each other the one kid had to leave early and um they were like bye and they're like see you next wednesday like ha like they were just i don't know they were just being so nice to each other and it's such a random group of kids this time lots of different grade levels um lots of different like just things going on it was just really nice that they were so friendly and nice to each other and it just it was really really good vibes going on at ukulele club so it's making me really excited for choir tomorrow and all of them got picked up within 15 minutes which is amazing if you watch my vlogs you know sometimes my choir and ukulele kids woo, they really want me to never leave the building i've had to be there like an hour and a half extra sometimes today we all got picked up in 15 minutes and it was glorious and it was so good and hopefully choir goes just as well tomorrow i'm in my car now i went to plato's closet and took like 20 items and these are nice items you guys there's like lily pulitzer shorts like brand name athletic wear some lularoe in here and the issue is that um the lularoe stuff i just don't wear anymore um the shorts none of them fit me anymore because I work out all the time and I started lifting and I actually like grew my glutes and like shorts don't fit anymore, which is good, good and bad. It's really annoying that I have to buy new clothes, but good problem to have. And so I took this to Play-Dohs. They took three things. They bought three things from me out of like 20, maybe even more than 20, and they gave me $6.57. And I was like, thanks. So I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Like, should I try to sell these things on Poshmark? Should I try another Play-Dohs? There's a Play-Dohs by my house. Um, and they might take like the Lily Pulitzer and stuff. Because I think originally that's where I bought it. Anyways, was the one by my house. Um, so I think I'll try that. And then I don't know. Like, I will end up donating whatever I don't sell. But if you have any suggestions on like Poshmark or any of those things, let me know in the comments. Because I have never sold clothes other than to Play-Dohs or donating to goodwill or donating to families at our school i do that sometimes if i know my clothes will fit like the older sixth graders i will end up donating whatever i can't sell but i would like to sell some of this like poshmark or something just to make a little bit of pocket cash so i can buy some new clothes to replace the, all of these that i had to get rid of because i literally almost every pair of my summer shorts except for maybe one are in there because they just don't fit anymore <sighs> So anyways, if you have suggestions, leave them in the comments. Now I'm waiting at a restaurant for my mom. She actually should be here any minute. Um, I killed time really well today. We're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna head to my skating party. And I'm so excited cause I'm about to be skating out here. I'm really good at roller skating actually. And so I really love roller skating parties because my kids try to race me and they'll see a chance. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner but I'm really excited. They have a lot of healthy options here. I am trying to stick to my meal plan right now. I just like accidentally pulled my hair um, so I could get salad I could get a wrap they've got some sandwiches that are on my meal plan soups stuff like that so lots of options but I don't know what I'm getting I've been just sitting in the car for the past like 30 minutes watching training videos for my coaching business trying to like really rekindle my fire and like get motivated to really like kick it up to the next level for the last quarter of the year which we're about to be in which is crazy like how is it September I don't understand also it's 95 degrees here in Cincinnati right now and it's September and I'm really over it and it needs to go away because I was sweating waiting for my students to get picked up and I'm not about that life anyways my mom is here so I'm gonna go get some good food all right I am off to the skating party dinner was so delicious I freaking love this place the only bad thing about this place is that it's only open um, in for dinner on Wednesday nights like otherwise it's just lunch and breakfast and it's not open on Sundays either I don't think so they have a very limited schedule but it's so cute I love it so much it's called tags cafe if you live in the Cincinnati area it's the best on Springdale but I'm gonna go ahead to my skating party and go show some kids up and show them how fast I am on my roller skates if you have watched this whole video I super appreciate 
I super appreciate I super appreciate you <laughs> be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next vlogs and so that you can stick around and join our little community of teachers here in the comments and I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are. Oh,